Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Little Supreme, and we are one community. And today I want to talk about some basic tips that every Steam Deck owner needs to know. First up, follow the tutorial. Yes, right off the bat, you get a tutorial kind of like this is what to expect in the system. And if you have not followed that yet, then I don't know if any of my tips are going to help you from here on out, as it's good to know just how the deck works. So make sure to follow the tutorial. And if you missed a couple of parts, the, one of the most important things I would say is getting access to the shortcuts menu. So essentially that mapping shows you all the shortcuts that you can do in your Steam Deck. Hold down the Steam or the Quam button, the quick access menu button, which is the meatball menu. It's the three dots on the right. And if you hold that down, you'll get a mapping of what you can do with your deck. Also with that quick access menu, you can use it to customize settings that will help improve battery life, or improve the quality of the image you get with FSR. Like there's so much stuff you can do with the quick access menu. You can also talk to friends. You can also see who's playing, join groups. There is a ton you can do with this quick access menu. And honestly, it's a must know feature and start exploring now as there's just too much to cover in this short tips video. Second, if you have one, format and prepare your micro SD card right away. As I recommend keeping most of your games and most of your stuff on a micro SD so you can swap it for easy access to multiple games without having to delete them off your main SSD. Also, it's nice to keep the SSD free for shader cache or maybe your favorite game out there. Sometimes it's great to just keep as much space on that thing as possible because once you start getting towards the end, it can slow down your device. It can do a lot of other things that you just don't want to deal with. So definitely use that micro SD card if you don't have one yet and you're thinking about getting one, I have a link in the description below to a couple of great ones. Just a little hint, Samsung Evo Select and the SanDisk Extreme. After you've done all that, make sure to then download your first game right away as it can take a little bit of time to start. And if you have access to an ethernet port, let's say you have a dock and it has an ethernet port, that might help make it go a little bit quicker. Make sure that if you're on Wi-Fi, it's five gigahertz band. If you have that, it will be your best friend for downloading things if you only have access to Wi-Fi capabilities. Most of the time I use Wi-Fi even though I'm fairly close to my ethernet port. I just, a little too lazy. I'm fine letting it sit there and download. So the first game I recommend downloading is Aperture Desk Job. It was essentially designed for the deck. And so go download that if you have not. Yeah, or go download that other game that you're super excited to play, like Dead Space. Dead Space is a big one. One of the first ones I downloaded, it worked great on the deck with a couple of tweaks. For the most part, that is another thing, is verification status does not mean everything. When you go into that store and you're looking to see what you want to buy, what is verified, what you think you might want to try, but you see that yellow or the unknown status and you're just like, mm, does that work yet? Well you're in luck. You can go to protondb.com and go check that out. And oftentimes with the games that you're interested about, there'll be people that have already tried it on the deck and they'll give you recommendations on how to get it to work or just say that it works. And to give it a little bit extra, it'll tell you which Proton version, which is very important. That goes a little deeper than what these tips are about. But just know that dive down that hole, you're going to have a fun old time. But most likely you're going to be able to get most of the games you want playing. Also... If you do get a game that does not work, so let's say if you buy the game, and even if it says it's verified or not, and it does not work, Steam is pretty benevolent, and they will allow for returns. So if you download it, start it up, and it just doesn't work, or you can't get it to work right, as long as you don't play it for more than about an hour or two, you can return the game and be able to get your money back and go try something else. So in case that playable status, which does happen, thank you EA launcher, like EA came out with a new launcher. And because of that, some of the games that should be working right now, or some of them do work now, some things are kind of getting resolved. But this is a good example of sometimes games that are verified might become unverified. They just don't get their status updated because Valve doesn't know, or it was just a sudden change. Most likely those will get fixed in the near future, so don't worry. But if you're really worried about it, or if you're really like, I bought this, it says it's verified, refund that bad boy. Then next up, speaking of like the Steam store and all that, keep an eye out for seasonal deals, as this is very important with your deck, as pretty much you bought this thing to play games. So keep an eye out for those seasonal deals on Fanatical, Green Man Gaming, 
Steam sells, and then accessories on Amazon are also on sale frequently. So make sure to check the description of this video below to see what's out there. I'll have links to all these below, some of them affiliate just as a heads up. And you're going to have yourself a good time. If you're coming here from the consoles, be prepared for a lot of good deals and a lot of games and to have a backlog that you'll never get through just like me. Next up, make sure to download that Aperture Desk Job game like I mentioned earlier. There's another good reason to download it is that it's essentially a good way to test if your deck works out of the box. Sometimes in mass manufacturing, in manufacturing a lot of devices, we can run into issues where you're going to have a few percentages of those devices made not function fully correct. Like even with all the testing that they do, and sometimes there's devices that can get out into the public, into the wild, that might not quite work. So make sure to grab your deck, play that game, and test every button on it. And if anything feels a little off, go online, check it out. Or better yet, if anything really feels off within a certain period of time with your warranty on the Steam Deck, Valve is pretty good. Now, if you break it yourself, just know that you might have to pay a fee but if it seems like it's a manufacturing defect, then you might be in luck and it's just the whole thing will be covered. A lot of good cases of Valve doing really well by people on this. Once again, that can be different and that can change down the line with different policies that they implement. So RMA that bad boy, go to the Steam support and say, hey, I'm having in some issues. I'll have a link in the description below on this. This is a very important one and I've done a couple of videos on this. And honestly, people don't seem to think about doing RMA processes or essentially contacting support and Valve has a great support system to where there's a good chance that you're going to be able to get your deck fixed and on its way back to you. Now the crappy part about this is that you're most likely going to have to wait a couple of weeks for it to get there and come back but you know what it's worth it to have a working device. Bonus round time as always I like to do in these kind of videos bonus round I am creating a Deck Revealed app right now. I've launched the project, which means that you can go and support me on Patreon. Go down there. I'll have it in the description below, of course, and you can go and support the project. What it does is it's just the missing tool belt. It's all the little pieces that are missing with the deck. So if you don't want to have to keep on repeating yourself or going down into desktop mode and into the terminal, I'm going to make it so it's easier and easier to be able to launch the media apps and streaming apps that you want, like Netflix or Xbox Cloud gaming service. I'm also putting in scripts to make it easier to set up or find the MU deck and additional other utilities. This is going to be a very big growing project, and the more support I get, the more likely I'm going to hit the goals sooner that I have set out. So please go check out deckrevealed.com or go check out patreon forward slash deckrevealed to learn more about the project and to see if you want to support me. I do think that almost every deck owner by the time I'm done with this project will love this app. Then, finally, I want to know in the comments below what you think of all this. Do you think that this video helped at all? Did it go over a couple of items that you just weren't sure about? I'm hoping that it did. If not, I am going to be doing a questions answered video soon. So let me know your questions in the comments below and I will try to get your question into that video and be able to answer it. But really, I also just want to know what you think. Were these tips helpful? Anything I missed? Shoot it out there so other people will know and I will try to pin it the best comment out there. With that, check out, once again, the description below for all the goodies, including Discord server, where you can go and chat with the great community of Games Revealed as we're cultivating and making it better every day. Thank you guys for watching and check out my other videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. Later!